I thought my dreams were finally coming true. You think pregnancy, baby, you don't think of something being wrong. Because things like this can happen. I just didn't believe it would happen to me. Always heard that you're not supposed to tell anyone that you're pregnant, I guess until you're in your, or ending your first trimester in case you have a miscarriage. That they uh, thought it was gonna be a viable pregnancy. At first they thought it was gonna be a chemical pregnancy, I think is what they call it clinically, um, where your body has produced the hormones and there was some sort of fertilization, but it never actually uh, implants or takes um, in the uterus. Just the fact that you've lost a pregnancy is, is huge in a woman's life, I think. It was just a shock and it kind of grew on us. It was the idea of, okay, we're ready, we can do this now. And within three, four weeks, everything was taken away. I was very surprised. I knew that it happened. I really didn't know that miscarriage was so common. And I knew that a lot of women have it and sometimes they don't even know they miscarry. They confuse it as a period. So I did know that much. I didn't think it was going to happen to me though. I had made a mistake by telling everybody so soon. I felt like it wasn't something that I should have announced because things like this can happen. I just didn't believe it would happen to me. There is shame, I think, with a lot of people. They think that this is what, as a woman, you're born to do. People, I felt like people were going to pity me and people were going to feel like I was damaged. And it's true, I, I was damaged. I was more upset than I had ever been in my entire life. Um, when I found out what had happened, of course I felt devastated. I felt super sad, disappointed, confused, upset. I think emotionally it affected me for a couple weeks um, and it just made me sad. I wanted to feel validated that I wasn't some abnormal person who went through something completely unique. When it happens to someone for the first time, you feel alone, and, and I felt alone. Just as women, we feel like we're damaged if we don't have a baby when we're pregnant, like full term. I felt embarrassed. It really upsets me when women think that it's their fault that they've had miscarriages, because ultimately, there's nothing you can do about it. I understand that I should talk about it and that it's good to talk about it, both for myself and for other women. As a society, I think that we can change the way women feel about miscarriages so that they can feel less embarrassed about it by being more open about it. Knowing that if we were ever to get pregnant again, that I would have other people to talk to and I wouldn't have to be afraid. It happened. It's, it shouldn't have to be a secret. I could say anything to women that are going through miscarriages. Don't be afraid to reach out and want to talk to somebody. Um, so this is where I get emotional. I <laughs> uh, wasn't quite expecting that. Um, for anyone who is going through um, a loss, uh, struggling with trying to get pregnant, uh, you know, reach out to somebody to stay strong and to cleave on to the support of others, especially your family and your friends, and to not be embarrassed about it. My name is Christina, and my loss is not a secret. My name is Shannon, and my journey is not a secret. My name is Joanna, and my loss is not a secret. My name is Danny, and my loss is not a secret.